8.30 a.m. Turning to a developing story, out in Forest Grove, the owners of Dream Girls Espresso now responding to critics who say the bikini baristas have simply gone too far. Coin has been following this story for weeks now, and tonight we saw opponents take their fight to City Hall. Cor Harlan spoke to both sides. He joined us from Forest Grove with more. Cor? Well, Jeff and Kelly were standing in the parking lot in front of the Dream Girls Coffee Shack, a little shack that's causing a big controversy here. Critics say it's too much nudity, too close to too many homes. Well, tonight those critics had their say, and when it was over, the city attorney laid down the law. We decided for everybody to wear red. They showed up early, about a half an hour before the meeting started, in fact, dressed in red, wanting the city to do something about Dream Girls Espresso. I know that there are laws and there are different things that protect business owners, but this right here is not what she got a license to do, and this is what she has done and stuck in our face. It was described as a public nuisance, harmful to existing businesses, and a deterrent to new business. We're for respect and honor. We're for teaching values and self-respect. And we strongly believe that those things are not what this business stands for. Cecile Doyle, in fact, owned a swimsuit business in Forest Grove at one time long ago. She says she had seen it all until she saw what was going on at Dream Girls. When I witnessed the girls working at the coffee cart, they were wearing less than bikinis, a lot less. We do not sell sex, we serve coffee. Any rhetoric regarding this is slanderous to myself and my employees. Lee Sizemore, who owns the coffee stand, told the council that she's tried to tone it down recently by getting rid of only pasties and having the girls instead wear only bikini and lingerie type outfits. 19 year old Tori Walker, who's one of the baristas causing all of the commotion, says that her work is a good way for a young girl to make a living. And she says hanky panky with customers is a no no. The owners of the company, they made it very clear that that is not allowed. And if that happened, some, that person would be terminated and also it now the Forest Grove City Attorney ended tonight's comments by telling the critics that there is well established Oregon law when it comes to regulation of these types of businesses he said when it comes to nudity as a form of expression which he says is what this is uh, the businesses are not only legal, he says, but they are likely to withstand legal challenge live here in Forest Grove Cor Harlan Coin 6 News Cor thank you